blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind. Spirit of victory, cover us with your wings. Will you blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind? Blow like a mighty wind, spirit of victory, cover us with your wings. Blow every sadness, blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind, spirit of victory, cover us with your wings. Hear me, there are territories that have patterns where those who work for things never enjoy it have you seen that pattern you labor there are people who have raised others there are people in nigeria almost every great name they participated in their rising and yet there is nothing for you it's a spirit it's a pattern they sit over territories Skate bakatos sande bata lakatos embrekete katos koti barakata skate bata katos kete kata embrekete katos koto bakata kebas kebas ketalis kenya embrekete katos kati balakata. Hadakata bakata katos, emprete ke parakatos katikata, ke brendes ke ti lakatos katiada, kaparis katiha. Just pray in the spirit in one minute. Sana kata bakata skoto brende kata, kileks ke ni matas koto brende katia. I sought for a man who would stand in the gap that I would not destroy them. hallelujah let me finish because we're going to pray tonight worship team get ready you will sing that my song for me again ah, my spirit is fired up listen you have to say enough is enough if not for your sake for your children unborn i've gone through the pain already let innocent people not go through this again i've gone through the poverty i went through the pain of idolatry I went through the pain of polygamy. I went through the pain of delay. Go through it for their sake. That is the character of an intercessor. Shakata bakatos, the prende ketes koto baskatia, empre keta, re kete koto koto ketea, re bas koto shana kata mi yakata. Someone pray. You are engaging the spirit for the sake of those connected to you. Shada kata bakatos, empro kapos koto begete lakapa. Listen to me. Hear me. Please listen to me. I'm teaching you the principles of prophetic intercession. There are families where the children will always bring shame to the parents, no matter the investment. It's not that they are bad. They find themselves going to fish trouble and return back with shame. You send them to go for studies, they return with shame wasting your money and your time remember what i taught you he continued further if and when unhindered evil will always continue further hear me let me tell you this i made up my mind and i made a covenant with god that everything i've suffered in my life it ends with me 
my children will never whether spiritual or physical they will never this is the character of an intercessor in one minute i'd like you to pray send prayer investments let it end with me let it end with me the poverty the failure the limitations let it end here thus far have you come no further shall you go Pray. 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 Scatter those cotton pegeta. Break those cotton pegeta. Break In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please sit down. Please sit down. Just help those under the anointing. Now hear me please. Don't be distracted. We are praying. I want you right now as you are seated. In one minute. Study the patterns you have seen in your family. Just think about it honestly. Study the patterns you have seen from the region you come from. There are regions that have the spirit of anger. There are regions that have the spirit of disunity. There are regions that have the spirit of irresponsibility. It's the women that serve the men. There are regions that have help them, please. Kabashka Nikatosia. Widespread laziness. Oh. 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 With the eyes of the Spirit And I see A mighty army rising Yes, I know They're rising in the thousands Coming from afar Coming from afar Oh, 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 oh. Listen, hear me. Please listen carefully. Listen. It was from Zaria that the Lord sent me here. There is a spirit over that region you start a walk it does not last more than three years something must happen that brings you down you may still be there but you never maintain the texture of your glory there are regions like that i sought for a man who would stand in the gap what betides a family with no intercessor what betides a business with no intercessor don't you think because it's business you don't intercede what betides a ministry that has sounds and mics and has beautiful skilled people but without intercessors what betides a preacher without personal intercessors no matter how anointed you are in this end times if there are no men who can hold on the altar for you you may not last i tell you the evil of the times will eat you up to your shame and surprise please sit down controlling powers 
I've shared with you my vision that I was praying some years ago when the ceiling in my room just disappeared and I'm seeing this spirit and this being looking at me looking like Leviathan looking like 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 a dinosaur with a tail that had its own life the eyes were big as a human eye and he says so you think you can bring God's people into abundance and I saw that spirit there are horns that stop the voices of men from rising to the nations there are many anointed people in this nation there are many gifted people in many families but there are spirits sitting on their glory Let the weight of your glory cover us. Let the light of your reader flow. Let the truth of your kingdom let reign in us. Let the weight of your glory fall. In the name of Jesus, every spirit that is not of the Christ that has tied down lives tied down destinies held down people in the name of Jesus as you shout that name I decree and declare that those devils leave you now are you ready at the count of three shout that name one two three shout Jesus be delivered now I release you now bring them out I release you now help that lady please help that lady I release you now. E papata baraka posekete. The devils of ancestry, operations of covenants, we come by the blood of the Lamb. Please bring them out very quickly. In the name of Jesus, let them go now. Release their destinies now. Baraka poska tafata kafaraka tos. Be released in the name of Jesus. Be released in the name of Jesus. From every oppression, my Bible says, Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I decree and declare, blotting out every handwriting, and every ordinance that spoke against you it has been nailed to his cross therefore i administer life and deliverance right now in the name of jesus we are still praying every family here that has been under siege that people don't rise People don't excel. I don't know where you are, but in the name of Jesus, let that fire rest upon you now. I release those families now. Bring them out. I release those families now. Whether in Taraba, whether in Yobe, whether in Plateau State, in Adamawa State, all across the northeast, the north central, the northwest, I come in the name of Jesus here at Peniel 2023. We decree and declare liberty by the Spirit, liberty by the Spirit, liberty by the Spirit, liberty by the Spirit, liberty by the Spirit. Hallelujah, you have won the victory. Hallelujah, you have won it all for me. Hallelujah, I'm hearing in my spirit delay. I don't know whose life has been delayed and whose family has been delayed. In the name of Jesus, 
that chain of delay right now be broken be broken be broken be broken be broken delay be broken delay be broken hallelujah maybe a few women or a few ladies can volunteer and just come and help our sisters here the choir or something you are not singing again so some of you can volunteer just to come and help them so that they are not scattered or exposed around you may also help with veils if you have some please so that if you need to cover some of them you may do that we are praying now we have to do that which we do within the confines of modesty and decency we are praying in the name of Jesus I'm hearing in my spirit salvation of the male child there are families where men do not rise I don't know where you are but in the name of Jesus in the name that is above all names every family where men are tied down be released now 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 be released now, be released now. in the name of Jesus spirits that cause barrenness need God's people now I command fruitfulness in the name of Jesus Christ the spirits of untimely death I'm hearing it in my spirit families that keep losing loved ones patterns of death that spirit of death oh death where is your sting and oh grave where is your victory here at Peniel we come as life giving spirits death lose your power now death lose your power now death lose your power now lose your power now Parata Farakatos Kalavran de Gabereku Satya Fraparatu Safras and Emelesh. It happens well for others until it gets to your turn. You keep seeing things and yet your hand never holds it. I don't know who that person is, but the Lord is telling me to release you that everything you have seen and your hands have refused to hold it. I stand by prophecy, I push it to your destiny. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, for all those who are in front, we did not call them out to embarrass them. The manifestations here is just the devil on his way out of their lives. I speak in the name of Jesus to every spirit that has oppressed these people. We come in the name of the Lord God of heaven and we declare pack your load from their lives and go now, now, now out of their destinies release their families in the name of Jesus Christ every occultic activities we bring to an end now we bring to an end now hallelujah if you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb please lay your hands on your stomach I want to pray for you now you don't have to come out for space right where you are lift one hand up and lay one hand on your stomach if you are standing for someone do the same I want to pray for you in the name that is above all names I decree right now as prophet Elisha told the woman in Shunem in the name that is above all names according to the time of life I speak to you prophetically return with your miracle children by the word of God we veto every medical report in the name of Jesus we introduce another report and we declare like he did to Sarah may he do to you 
your hands at any part of your body where you are trusting God for healing. Please go ahead. Let's do that quickly. If it's your head, lay your hands there. Your eyes, lay your hands there. Please. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest as I pray for you. And I want you to shout a believing amen as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a man with high blood pressure. I'm seeing your blood pressure go down now. I'm seeing a miracle happen to you now. Now every spirit that is back of any sickness and any infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ we command that you release God's people now. Release God's people now. And in the name of Jesus standing in partnership with all the graces here represented we declare be healed now be healed now blind eyes open now deaf ears open now you have any kind of walking condition bone condition be healed now blood conditions be healed now migraines be healed now ulcers be healed now heart palpitations be healed now kidney problems be healed now genotype problems be changed now there's someone you've had severe pains around your ribs you cannot lie down with that area of your body this has happened for a long time the power of the holy spirit is coming upon you now i bring you life and i bring you healing i bring you life and i bring you healing in the name of Jesus now for sake of time whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus the son of the living God be healed now be healed now hallelujah you can feel free all through the time of this conference or when you return back to your various churches to share your testimonies of the miracles the most important thing is what Jesus has done now hallelujah now hear me hallelujah are you ready for the impartation now what is an impartation a transference of grace a transference of grace can I tell you with all humility we are men who have been helped by God those in front you are free in the name of Jesus those who are fine and can return to their seat let them go those who are still under the anointing just leave them be patient with them don't force them if they are weak and they cannot stand up the holy ghost is doing a work in them hallelujah just cover them if you need to and then hold them and be patient i want to release graces now the grace for speed in the name of jesus the son of the living god hear me i don't know whose destiny has been there hold them people will start running please hold them so they don't injure themselves right now receive the grace for speed take that grace now speed in ministry speed my god please help them speed in your destiny no more delay no more delay 
acceleration in your destiny i release that grace upon you man of god receive that grace businessman receive that grace politician receive that grace help this gentleman in the name of jesus please help him so he doesn't enjoy speed in the name of jesus number two the spirit of wisdom there is a grace that can come upon men and grant them access to superior levels of wisdom i don't know who has come desiring that grace but in the name of jesus let that grace rest upon you now take that grace in the name of jesus take that grace in the name of jesus wisdom like that of the gods in the name of jesus christ number three there is this grace called favor favor is a real grace believe me on this there is an actual grace called favor that can be tabernacled in a man it is the number one reason why people make any progress anything that makes you reject the favor of god has cheated you in the name of jesus i stand as one who has been given the privilege of this grace and in the name of jesus to as many who desire it may that grace rest upon you now strange manifestations of favor men arising to help you men arising to plead your cause kings and nations arising for your sake number four there is the grace for influence and visibility hallelujah to be anointed is not enough there is a grace that elevates you and put you in a position where you can bless your world there are many gifted people who have been kept down because of the absence of this grace you shall be exalted he says above all the nations of the earth it is important for men to see what god has put in your life and to partake of it therefore right from where you are let this grace take you to the nations right from where you are let this grace take you to the nations hallelujah hear me the grace for signs and for wonders that can rest upon a man especially if you are a minister of the gospel the truth is that we need this results speak it brings acceleration to ministry in the name that is above all names your hands from today will command sheer through signs and wonders help that man help that man please sheer through signs and wonders go and heal the sick in the name of jesus go and cast out devils in the name of jesus you begin to walk in signs and wonders hallelujah let me release a grace upon you that very few people know about please listen there is the grace that brings humility many people today have been destroyed not because of lust many people have been destroyed not because of laziness the cancer of pride is a destiny destroyer hallelujah humility is not refusing to acknowledge what god has done humility is bringing people to a point where they see that outside of the help and the assistance of god you are not able to rise you can be simple but it does not mean you are humble simplicity is not humility you know you are a humble person when your life always inspires and projects jesus i pray for you every manifestation of pride 
pride in ministry pride in business pride in destiny pride of life pride based on material acquisitions in the name of jesus let this grace come upon you and empty you of pride let it come upon you and empty you of pride that indeed you will decrease so that jesus alone is seen in your life finally for this session tonight the bible says blessed is the man who god causes to approach him there is a grace that makes for encounters god does not just come to men men are helped by god to meet god it is out of the abundance of encounters that men become strong encounters by scripture and supernatural visionary encounters i pray for someone this may not be for everybody but in jesus name for someone who has been crying for genuine encounters encounters that translate to power encounters that translate to stature and maturity receive that grace now receive that grace now please help that lady receive that grace now hallelujah over the northeast we stand as sons of the soil and we decree and declare oh and hear ye the word of the lord let the sound of war let the sound of bloodshed come to an end upon our land let's agree together shout a believing amen we stand as watchmen tonight from adamawa state to yola to taraba to gombe the entire northeast the spirits of bloodshed the spirits that stop the advancement of the gospel as the church of the lord jesus christ here at peniel 2023 we command those spirits be banished from our territories for the sake of those who have been martyred for the gospel across all of these lands lord for every one person who died raise mighty apostles raise mighty prophets raise mighty evangelists raise mighty teachers raise mighty pastors until we become an exceeding great army in the name of jesus christ and i pray i'm wrapping up the spirit of poverty and lack that has impoverished our people that has left us beggarly that has taken our women to compromise turn our men into arm robbers in the name of jesus by the ministry of the teaching priest may god bring a restoration of a decent life decent families the sufficiency by the spirit in the name of jesus christ the spirit of lukewarm christianity compromises lost pride prayerlessness wordlessness lack of passion for the things of god we drive it out of this region we drive it out of this region we drive it out of this region in the name of jesus we pray particularly for our children rising the young men and women let me use taraba as a point of contact every apostle who is currently an armed robber on the street what happened to saul may it happen to them every matriarch like rahab who is still at the wall of jericho prostituting we decree and declare may the good hand of god fetch them and bring them to the fold we pray for all our missionaries 
all the mission agencies scattered across the villages and scattered across several places number one may god keep them number two may god keep their wives and children number three may god raise help and support for them in the name of jesus let me pray for every church here represented and prophetically the church across taraba and the northeast we may have differences in several areas that is not the issue the one thing that binds us is that we love jesus the one thing that binds us is that we are sincere in our heart desiring to serve him and see him revealed to the nations for that sake may every pulpit that is walking in error be corrected now may every head that has been wrongly anointed towards compromise let there be the ministry of mercy upon such a one we pray especially for young ministers who may have been wrongly mentored and are now practicing lifestyles and ministerial practices that are antichrist and leading to perdition we pray sincerely may mercy find them and for those who are standing strong the grace to remain strong the grace to remain strong without compromise the grace to remain strong till the end let every altar in taraba be a place of salvation be a place of transformation be a place of love be a place of healing in the name of jesus finally we pray for the anglican communion here in taraba and we pray for peniel it has become a prophetic platform may the god of heaven preserve it may the god of heaven anoint it the more let it be a prophetic platform where generals are raised from this region in the name of jesus christ for in jesus matchless name we are praying hallelujah hallelujah every one of you happy new year thank god for what god's servant have shared with us we've been blessed and i know that you are also blessed just keep on going with us in this channel share these videos with others so that not with any ulterior motive so that they can also be blessed and i'm trusting god that this year the blessings of the lord will reign mightily upon every one of us and our lives will never never remain the same have a prosperous year have a beautiful year remain highly lifted in jesus mighty name amen